Hello everyone, it's Bruce with the Narrow Viewpoint and we are on the Sandusky River in Fremont, Ohio and this is the site of the Ballville Dam which is now gone completely removed we're going to take a trip upstream kind of take a look at what has changed and what's going on not more than two weeks ago there was a 30 foot tall dam right here but it is gone the pile of mud there was at the back of the dam from the reservoir we're going to move upstream and climb up over these high tension wires they love to eat my drone and we're watching the river to see just what kind of a natural flow uh, it will develop now that the dam is gone we're hoping it will dig down through the mud and silt and uh, go down to the bedrock and have a nice pretty rapids area uh, I see the seeding equipment down here we're going to drop down take a look at what's going on we have a contractor that is going to be seeding both sides I believe of the river and uh, this looks like the uh, straw uh, spreader that he's been pulling and we have a bulldozer in front of it but looks to me like the bulldozer is buried in the mud and it is clear up to the back of it so uh, I think Houston we have a problem and this shall be interesting to figure out how they're gonna get this thing out of there if a bulldozers stuck I don't know if another bulldozer will do much help or it'll end up getting stuck too so we'll keep an eye on that in the next couple of days see what happens back to the river and even though they just started seeding uh, it's already growing in with quite a bit of vegetation so I'm not sure if they would have just left it go natural if it would have filled in all by itself. We're about up to what we call Lutz School, Little Elementary. Uh, this is where she widens back out and even though a lot of water has come down this area really hasn't changed a whole lot water depth is definitely dropped some but this is kind of a just a the natural slow moving river straight ahead you're seeing the Fremont Reservoir I believe most of the drinking water is coming out of there and they have both wells and a river inlet pump system that uh, fills that reservoir and I try to always come up and take a look at the intake to make sure it's got plenty of water and it means we won't be getting thirsty in the future now a later flight we'll head from here and go on up to Tintle Bridge but this is about as far as I want to fly today you can see the intake here and it looks like they've got an excavator uh, excavator that they've been cleaning this out a bit and digging it maybe a little deeper and that looks uh, like there's plenty of water so we won't have any trouble here with water going in, into the reservoir gander out upstream a little bit and 
then time to head back home. Got a beautiful day today. It's temperatures only, I believe, in the 70s. Not too much of a wind. My drone's happy to fly in this weather. Going to see if we see any of the eagles or the other birds that are normally down here fishing. Since this water has dropped, I notice that the eagles from downstream uh, are flying this area daily, and uh, I'm sure it's because there's quite a bit of fish coming up through these shallow rapids here. On several of my flights, I've noticed that there are uh, a lot of fish coming upstream. Got some people walking along the banks, and there is. Uh, Oakwood Cemetery and making our way back to the old dam location. It does look a little strange not having the dam there anymore. Next week we'll have a little bit more uh, activity going on. There's a pump house coming up here on the left that's uh, going to be uh, demolished and I believe there's some a big machine inside there they've got to take out so we'll make sure that we film that when it happens there's what's left of no dam a little bit of mud yet coming down from all that silt and mud And I see a shadow. There he is. We got our Mr. Bald Eagle flying along here. Luckily, he is, or she is, below me. And as long as they stay below me, there they are. That's just fine. I do not want to interrupt them. They are. They don't like drones very much. Uh, we'll keep an eye on them for a minute here. I wish I could get closer for a much better shot, but that could mean the end of my drone. So we'll let them circle around a little bit more. And up to a tree. There we go. See if we can't come down just a little bit for a closer look, but uh, I am going to keep my distance. And I do want to thank everyone again for watching. Not much today. We'll be going up and down stream for the next few days, and it may be every other that I film since there's not a lot going on. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see everybody in the next day or two.